the way we do encryption today is, well, it's intentionally mathematically complex, the way we do our private and public keys, so that with today's computers, it would literally take uh, thousands of years to try to break, break that encryption. But with quantum computing, that can be done in minutes. Pretty significant implications for that. And one area that the baddies are really looking at out there is this notion called harvest now and decrypt later. So through whatever nasty means, they got in broke into a system and they found a treasure trove of data, but maybe that data is all encrypted and they don't have the keys. Well, not to worry, they just collect it all now and they store it for later when the miracle of quantum computing comes along and they'll make short work of it, even if that might be years away. Kind of scary, but there are international organizations out there like the UN that are trying to do something about it, where they're getting panels and researchers together to try to be ready with quantum safe cryptography, try to get ahead of that curve. But of course, there's another exciting and if not a little bit scary space where quantum computing can come in, and that's in AI. Because the way that AI works and the computation that it does is ideally suited for what quantum computing does. It's going to give a whole new meaning to the idea of being disruptive.